Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Saleh Al Namar, Guest of Honor, Dr. Badr Al Olivi, Mr. Yahya Tawhiri, Ms. Sankida, Principal, Dunes International School, Mr. Deepak and team from Cyber Square, participants, students, judges, teaching and non teaching staff of Dunes School. May God's peace be upon all of us. First of all, I would like to congratulate Dunes International School for hosting the first ever International Digital Festival of Saudi Arabia. Today, as I understand, almost 20 schools, including schools from India and United Arab Emirates, are participating in this fest. And I appreciate all participant students who are going to exhibit their technical skills and talents. And I think it is very important for me to share a few thoughts with all the students and teachers out here, which is we should be keeping or we should be tracking all the changes that is happening in the field of career and tune our system accordingly. I was listening to the visionary leader, Dr. Badr, today morning, and I'm sure most of you might know this name, Elon Musk. He is a visionary leader in the field of technology. And how many of you have heard about this, his startup called Neuralink? It's a startup, yeah. See, our students know this, Neuralink. And what are they doing? They have developed a device or an interface, which means now, in future, human beings can also be programmed. That is the future, which means a chip will be embedded inside the human brains. They have developed it. They have already uh, said that in news. It's all, they have already implanted a chip in, in, in a person's brain. So this is how innovations change the world. Artificial intelligence is moving, moving the industrial revolutions to 5.0 from 4.0. So this is in the fifth stage of phase of the industrial revolution. And 47 percentage of all the existing jobs that we see today shall be altered and will be completely changed in 2030. This is as per the study done by Oxford Martin School in 2013. Jobs of high level, level such as computer engineering, medical, law, accounting shall be deeply affected by AI. Software engineering jobs are even under threat or opportunity of being 90% automated. Medium and law level of computer engineering and coding shall be taken over. Fundamental legal research shall be taken over and every other basic job. So, when during the third phase of industrial revolution, when computers were launched, people used to discuss, people used to debate whether computer is good or bad. During when, we, when internet was launched, the same thing happened. Now when AI is there, artificial intelligence is there, people we can see people debating about whether AI is going to be bad or good or whether it is a hero or a villain. So, but the point is it is irrelevant to continue with these discussions because artificial intelligence is already there. And now the only option, the only way is to make use of it in our advantage. Now, or in other words, it is about being symbiotic with it symbiotic with artificial intelligence. And how do we do that? Let me share three points, very critical points for that, towards that, for the sake of the students. See, for this, we, we need to use AI positively in our life. It can be to prepare notes. It can be for administrative purposes. It can be, it can be to learn. It can be for data analysis, and we should use Make use of AI in our day-to-day -day life. 
Second point is that it is highly important to ensure that human skills, human skills which means such as innovation, curiosity, communication, networking, people relationship management, these skills should not be affected or such abilities should not be weakened. And the third point towards this is, we should be actually very good at learning. The learning should be developed as a skill as it is. We can flourish in this change only when the above these three factors are taken care of. And the education system, in fact, should be well aware of these changes. They should align well towards this and grow. We need to lead the students and people in the right areas where they can flourish. Enhance human skills and make them very agile and flexible, which will help us to push beyond our current limits and make all our youngsters above average professionals. And this needs intense efforts and involvement of methods such as coaching and mentoring. And I understand that is exactly what CyberSquare is trying to do. And I'm happy to say that they started this journey long back in 2014 along with Habitat schools in United Arab Emirates before anyone could think of it. Well, after the successful implementation, CyberSky was then adopted by the Abiram Residential School in Kerala in the year 2017, becoming the first school in India to start coding from KG onwards. Mr. Uh, N.P. Harris, in his absence, who is a CEO of CyberSquare, and the CyberSquare team for having me over, and I am delighted to witness the talents of our students. I conclude by saying, artificial intelligence will not replace human beings, but human beings with artificial intelligence will replace humans without artificial intelligence at workplace. Thank you so much.